In this video, we will write decimal expressions for given situations and given models. For number one, 82 out of 100 students want to attend the after school event. Write a decimal for the part of the students that want to attend. Because 82 out of 100 students want to attend as a fraction, this is 82 hundredths, but the question is asking for a decimal, not a fraction. So let's review the place value chart below. In this column we have the decimal point. To the right we have the tenths place value, then the hundredths place value, which means to express 82 hundredths as a decimal, we will need to use two place values to the right of the decimal point. We will need to have an eight in the tenths place value and a two in the hundredths place value, and we normally place a zero in the ones place value. We read this decimal just like we read this fraction as 82 hundredths. Notice how when reading a decimal, we always use the place value furthest to the right. So again, 82 hundredths as a decimal is equal to 0 0.82. For number two, what portion of each square is shaded? Assume the square represents one unit. For this unit, it's cut or partitioned into 10 equally sized parts or pieces three of which are shaded, which means three-tenths of the square is shaded, but we're asked to express this as a decimal, not a fraction. Going back to the place value chart again, we will need a decimal point, and then to the right of the decimal point we have the tenths place value, which means three-tenths as a decimal is point three, normally written as zero point three, with a zero in the ones place value. We read this fraction and this decimal exactly the same as three-tenths. Next, notice how the square or unit is cut or partitioned into 100 equally sized parts. Let's determine how many are shaded. Here we have a row of five parts shaded, so 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 35 parts out of 100 are shaded, which means as a fraction we have 35 hundredths. We want to express this as a decimal, not a fraction. Going back to the place value chart, we will need a decimal point. To the right we have the tenths and then the hundredths place value, which means for 35 hundredths, we need a 35 to the right of the decimal point, where the three is in the tenths place value and the five is in the hundredths place value. And again, we normally put a zero in the ones place value. We read this decimal just like the fraction as 35 hundredths. 35 hundredths as a decimal is equal to 0 0.35. I hope you found this helpful.